Welcome back to the Got a Rocket pregame show. Now time for your player spotlight. My name is Agustin Valdez. My number is 54, sophomore. My favorite teacher is Miss Holloway. I like the Green Bay Packers, and I'm a defensive end. My name is Bo Roach. I'm number 55. I am a junior. I am right tackle on the O-line. I'm also involved in powerlifting and wrestling. My favorite teacher is Mr. Nelson. My favorite football team is the LA Rams. And my favorite part about being a Goddard Rocket is the brotherhood here. My name is Aiden Martin. My number is 56. I'm a senior. I play guard, Mike Linebacker. I'm also involved in National Honor Society and Stuco. My favorite teacher is Miss Manaman. My favorite football team is the New England Patriots. My favorite part about being a Goddard Rocket is the hard work and the worth ethic. Worth ethic. Oh, so good. Try it now. You take what you didn't earn. My name is Freddie Nastrello. I'm number 59. I'm a sophomore. My position is D lineman. I'm also involved in powerlifting. My favorite teacher is Mr. Fuentes. My favorite football team is the Raiders. My favorite part about being a Garden Rocket is the dedication and the hard work it takes to join the team. Uh, my name is Johnny Romero. My number is 64. I'm a sophomore. My position is a uh, lineman. I'm also involved in activities as football outside of school and I like math. I'm very interested in video games. My favorite teacher is Coach White. My favorite football team is LA Rams. And my favorite part about being a Rocket is carrying on the legacy from my family. And it's, you know, meeting new people. And I love the colors here. And it's, I complete, I just love being a Rocket. That's your Gotta Rocket Player Spotlight. Pre-game show continues right after this. All right, welcome. Here we go. Week, what is this, six now, Coach White? I'm Coach Deck. Week seven, Coach. Seven. There you go. I know we're getting up there. So here's your Goddard Rocket Football Coaches Show, brought to you, of course, as always, by Dion's. So it's always good. We come down here, smell the pizza, try to get through this interview quick so we could eat. So Coach White, big win last week, making the trip to Anthony, New Mexico, playing Gadsden. Coach Gadsden is a very good football team. That was a tough game going in, and we really played, you know, maybe our best game of the year. Just really an outstanding performance by the boys down there. What are your What are your thoughts on that game? Yeah, I I thought we did, you know, play well, especially uh, defensively. You know, I thought we we really got after it, and um, you know, we had some some different kids that have made their way into the lineup that you know, I've been out. And so I was really excited to see some of those guys um, get back into action. And, um, you know, that I just – I thought the kids really played a physical football game. Gadsden is a big physical team. Uh, and they have, you know, what I thought was one of the better defensive lines, you know, that I've seen on film this year. And I thought – you know we handled we handled that pretty well um and then you know turn it around on the other side of it they have a big offensive line and i i thought our kids played real well inside and so you know i was super happy with with the way that went long long road trip and again you know gadston and and dimming i think are going to battle it out for that district and so you know, it's definitely a game, and you need to win every game, but definitely a game we that were dinged up and 
So I'm really pleased and, you know, happy for those kids that they're getting to play too. And so. So you have the short week last week playing on Thursday, right? but it turns into a longer week this week. So you get that, get that extra day of a uh, prep and rest or how, or however you want to play it. And so homecoming week now, Boleyn coming into town. What are your thoughts this week? How's the week been going? Well, I mean, it so last week was a short week but it does give you you know an extra rest day for the kids so you know hopefully that's that's a good thing um Boleyn coming in and you know I I think people probably discount Boleyn but they're a better football team I think than their record would indicate uh they played Mayfield I mean right down to the wire last Friday night so definitely you know we're gonna have to play good football and execute um we're definitely not taking Boleyn lightly I can tell you that they have really good speed on offense you know they run triple option they run speed option they throw the ball well and so you know we'll we'll definitely have to play good football defensively they run an even front four three defense with two safeties and You know, they've played a tough schedule. They played Artesia, and, you know, they played Artesia hard. Artesia, you know, obviously beat them, but, you know, their kids definitely, when you turn on the film, you know, you see their kids are sure playing hard. And so they also have good size and, you know, speed to go with it. So, again, you know, this is no different than any other Friday night. For us, we need to go play good football. Absolutely, and like you said, you know, Blinn is – always has a good football team every year and there's a lot of history there between Goddard and the Boleyn we've played them in the semifinals a couple times beat them in the 2009 state championship game as well they've played Artesia in the state championship final uh, also Roswell High in the semis at least once or twice I think so Boleyn a lot of a lot of history there uh, with our with our district so that's always going to be a tough game and also homecoming Friday so hope everyone's down in the crowd getting wound up Students yeah having for sure a good time. yeah it's always always nice to play at home in front of the hometown crowd and I know the kids sure do enjoy it and you know I know we all appreciate the support that we get from the community and you know we love to go and and play at the wool bowl and see our kids getting rowdy in the student section and you know it's always a good time so looking forward to it and freshmen playing Carlsbad this week I yeah. believe and they're they're yeah. undefeated right having yes a, having a good year so yeah another, another big one there absolutely yeah they they won again last week against Hobbs and so they'll play Carlsbad and they actually you know are playing on uh on a different short schedule as well they're playing on a Wednesday and so we're looking forward to to that as well but those guys and coach Montoya they're doing they're doing good so you know a lot of excitement in the program for sure so Boleyn making the trip down south for homecoming Friday night at the Wool Bowl Roswell New Mexico Goddard Rocket football I know we'll be there I know Tanner Todd will be there and he's producing for us today as always coach so he's he's the man yeah he's the guy that makes it happen behind the scenes nobody ever sees his face but he's he's the man so Dion's pizza that's our goddard rocket football coaches show uh 1061 fiero ksvptv.com i know what we're about to do yeah it's we'll see you next time welcome back to the goddard rocket pregame show now time for your player spotlight my name is Agustin Valdez. My number is 54, sophomore. My favorite teacher is Miss Holloway. I like to get their packer. You get one gig. Learn more at PlateauTel.com. Get the speed you need with Plateau. Tried. True.
Trust hey, neighbors, there's a new source for all your appliance needs in the area. We're Roswell Appliance Outlet. We sell new minor scratch and appliances and we'll help you save 40 to 60 percent off of MSRP. All come with warranty and personalized service. We also offer parts and service for your existing household appliances. We offer financing and delivery options as well. Don't make that big box store mistake. Come see us at Roswell Appliance Outlet today at 600 South Main in Roswell or call 575-363-9236. Roswell Appliance Outlet, a proud supporter of Roswell sports. Check out some of the savings you'll find this week at your local Farmer's Country Market. Eight count packages of tender crust hamburger or hot dog buns are $1.38 each. And assorted 12 pack cans of Shasta soda are three for $12. In produce, red or black plums are $1.99 a pound. And extra large red seedless grapes are two pounds for $3. In the meat department, family packs of 81% lean ground beef are $2.99 a pound. And boneless skinless chicken breasts are $1.49 a pound. These are just some of the bargains you'll find this week at your local Farmer's Country market. All right, here we go. Welcome to Roswell, New Mexico at the world famous Wool Bowl. Goddard Rocket Football homecoming night hosting the Berlin Eagles. Goddard won the kickoff. They deferred to the second half. So Goddard will be kicking off to start the game to Berlin. I am Coach Deck with Coach Royball, KSVPTV.com. 1061 Fierro for all you truckers out there. And Coach got a big win last week on the road at Gadsden on the road to Anthony, New Mexico. That was on a Thursday night, so one extra day of preparation coming into this game. And Coach, we have pretty long history against Berlin. We've Played them in the 2009 state state championship game, won that one. Played them several times in semifinals, quarterfinals, regular season battles. So a lot of, a lot of history here. Goddard and Berlin. This will be an exciting one. Yeah, Coach Goddard Rockets coming in at four and two on the season. Like you said, big win against Gadsden last week, and Berlin Eagles coming in at zero oh and six on the season, but playing Mayfield really close last week, Coach at home. 26-22, right? 22-20. Yeah. 22-20. Yeah, so, you know, uh, Blinn is better than the record indicates, and Goddard has them scheduled for homecoming night, so we'll see how it goes. And, Coach, uh, and ugly, this ugly is, night. This is live footage from the Wool Bowl. Don't adjust your screen, your screens. It's not it's not the Mars rover, uh, even though it looks like we're, <laughs> we're on Mars right now. Just an unbelievable dust storm blowing through Roswell here in the past hour or so. Yeah, coach, when I this is reminding me of a track meet, Coach. Like, we're about to get ready to run the 200 at 10 o'clock at night in, in freezing weather and wind. But now we're in the uh, officially in fall now at the Wool Bowl, and the ball's going to roll off the tee for the second time now, so we'll get a hold down there. And Coach, yeah, when I looked at the weather earlier, all it said was haze, and I definitely can see what they meant by that. Well, they got the haze right. Very, very ugly night, put it that way so far. Hopefully this will blow through. They got the homecoming court ceremonies pregame out of the way. There's a deep kick, north cut. This is Boleyn. There's the touchback, oh. so there's one advantage of the wind coming in. Coach, that ball's still rolling. <laughs> that's going to where the... That's lane eight of the track there. That's, again, that's well, where the fourth hurdle would be in the 300 hurdles. There you go. <laughs> So Wyatt Northcutt starting the game off with the boom, going to get a touchback. Blinn going to have the ball at their at the their own 20-yard line working north to south. And that is a stiff wind straight out of the south going north, and that's right right where Northcutt was kicking at. Yeah, Coach, so you got to think that's definitely going to affect Blinn's passing game with the, with the wind working. Either way, it's going to affect the passing game. Those goalposts are moving this way. This wind's howling right now. Coach. The wind's picking up just from when I was down on the field about 6.30 or so. So maybe we're not done with this storm. It's just getting started. Hopefully we stay dry. No lightning. Trips right, gun right. Split to the left. Blinn quarterback changing the protection, looks like. And they're going to get a delay a game. He shouldn't have changed the protection. So you never want to see that. First play of the game, delay a game. So number two quarterback for Berlin, Hunter Garcia, a senior. 
He'll be back there with number six, Darian Rodriguez. We'll get Goddard's starting lineup as we go here. So option to the left out of a gun right look. Garcia's going to keep it. He's going to cut up, fall forward, and pick up about seven on first and 15, bring up a second and eight. So I don't know if Belen was wanting to run option away from the back there or if they were misaligned in the backfield. Either way, it worked. Pick up seven. Can bring up a second and eight up to Goddard's, second and seven up to Goddard's 23-yard line in the left half. Coach, like you said, Belen 0-6 oh, oh on the year, but playing their, their best football now. Almost beat Mayfield last week. So Belen getting hot at the right time. It's going to be a trip right, single to the left, but under center and a single fullback look, fullback give there. That's going to be number... 22. 22. Don't have a 22 on max prep. So 22 playing a fullback position. Because that's going to bring up about a third and four for the Blinn Eagles. So big early third down here. So for Goddard, you have Wyatt Northcutt playing the left corner. Tristan Torres looks like he's playing a safety coach. Alberto Chavez also playing a safety. Nathan Rita, outside backer. We have Kalen Payne at a middle backer. Is that Kermode at a, the right outside backer, coach? Number five, yes. Yes, it is. And then is that uh, Gary Royball or Josiah Castillo? Looks like Gary Royball playing the right corner. And then Maddox Chavez, the right defensive end. Daniel mm -hmm. Moreno, the right defensive tackle. Luis Moreno, the left defensive tackle. And it looks like Deshaun, Deshaun, Young. Deshaun Young is the left defensive end. We're going to have a false start of the Blaine Eagles. And they didn't call it. Oh, my goodness. Coach Both the Goddard and Boleyn hesitated there and no call. So it was a false start. Goddard started pointing at Boleyn. Boleyn even hesitated with their snap, and then they end up running kind of a staggered lead play there. <laughs> they think that was motion, Coach? That was, oh, that man. was different. And then they, so Boleyn is going to pick up the first down. Both sidelines knew that was a false start. So first and 10, Boleyn, going to be a double gun look. Going to run lead option play right here, Coach, and Goddard right there All trips him it. up. Number five, Dylan Kermode with a big tackle for loss. And Coach Dylan Kermode getting a lot of playing time last week and really stepping up, balling out. He's been out to a start the year. And in his first action, Coach, he really played a good safety, a good on uh, special teams as well, and getting a start on, on defense tonight and already making a name for himself out there. No gain on the play. And, Coach, you mentioned it, the win. So, Belin... Stiff win right into their face. Throwing the ball be a challenge. Shorter passes you could get. Two by two look, gun on the right, Garcia. Straight drop back, oh. look out. Ball's tipped up in the air. That was Taylor Payne, sophomore middle linebacker, number 37. And he gets up and gets a hand on that. And, Coach, that went straight up in the air. Unfortunately for Goddard, couldn't run under that one, but... Coach that is a nice pass break up there. Taylor Payne going to bring bring up a third and ten now. This is where you want, as a defense, this is where you want the offense to be. Third and long, fourth and long, make it hard for them, make them, make them have to pass the ball in this kind of situation, Coach. And, you know, Goddard has been bringing pressure lately on this situation. Let's see if they do here. Kind of a late motion. Might have been moving in. And there's Tristan Torres, sophomore Linebacker safety flying into the backfield. Belen a little on tilt there with their formation. They were in a double gun look. They shifted late to a trips wing look and then tried to run away from it. And Tristan Torres to the field just knifes right into the backfield. Tackle for loss. Fourth and 12. Belen has to punt we don't into have this any, wind. We don't have anyone back, Coach. Goddard going to come after this one. Look out into the wind. Snap a little low. Oh, get it, Coach. And there's a block. It's down. Goddard picks it up. Daniel Moreno with a big punt, punt block, Coach. Recovered by number 27, Nathan Reed, it looks like. And how about that? So Belen was... They're facing a tough punting situation anyways, right into the wind. Goddard goes after it, and big sophomore defensive tackle, Dan the man, Daniel Moreno. And, Coach, he almost 
just took the ball off the punter's foot. That's how fast he got in there. Yeah, Coach, I think he might have blocked that with his, like, the bottom of his feet. Seriously. Right <laughs> so Goddard, first and 10 on Belen's 15-yard line. Mega play here earlier. Double double wing, single fullback, split to the right. Dominic Ramirez, senior quarterback, under center. Fly sweep, Johnny Silva got the edge. Makes one cut. Hesitation breaks oh. a tackle. Going to be a flag face mask. Add on half the distance to the goal. Going to be a first and goal at the three for Goddard. So Goddard, the block punt. John Silva, the fly sweep off of motion, gets the edge. And then, Coach, the Valen Eagle, as you, as you you said, coming up with the face mask on that tackle, so half the distance to the goal. And Coach, they better spot that ball quick because it's rolling around. I hope yeah. they remember where it was. Yeah, really, really unusual storm here for end of September. I was, I, Coach, I was having some PTSD like we were at a track meet whenever I was walking in. Normally, this is spring weather, the wind and dust. I mentioned earlier, blowing. Coach, it reminded me of a uh, Lovington weather. <laughs> yeah. Lovington weather in the spring at a track meet is brutal if you have not experienced it. And that, exactly, that is exactly what we are experiencing here tonight. Thankfully, as you said earlier, Coach Jack, we are in the booth. We don't have to be down there in the trenches. That is it. But did we? They've yet to mark off the penalty. So, there's no, did we deny that penalty, or did they wave it off? Well, that's where Johnny went out of bounds. They didn't move it up, so not, I never saw a signal. And the White Hat's going to put a stop to this, I think. And I think they are going to go and re-spot this now because that's right where Johnny went out of bounds. And so half the distance from there would be to the three. But we're all backing up, Coach. <laughs> they're re they're re um, replaying the downs, Coach. Um, replaying the down. For some reason. But we're on a different hash, so we were in the middle of the field for first down, and now we're on the right hash. And no call on the field, Coach. There's, I don't know. Maybe they, they the didn't wind. ready the play, and we're going to just flip flip the play, fly sweep to the left. Nate Reed looking for the edge. He lowers the shoulder. going to pick up a few. So curious situation there, Coach. Maybe there were offsetting penalties. Is the only thing I can figure, but the officials never made a call. And neither neither sideline needed an explanation, so. Here we go, second and six after all that mess. Got to get out of the ball on the left hash at the Berlin 12-yard line. It's just too dusty down there, Coach. We can't see what's <laughs> going on. I blame it on the haze. Double wing motion right to left. Little follow play. There's Tristan Torres makes one cut. He's fighting for the end zone. Touchdown. He's going to fall forward, oh. throw those hands up, and he's in. Touchdown, Tristan Torres, roll blue off of the follow. That was exciting there, Tristan Torres. Nice cut. And, Coach, he got those shoulder pads low and was fighting for those extra yards, then spun back to his right. Breaks the plane, throw those hands up. Roll blue, Goddard, 6-0, PAT pending. So, Coach, we got to the end zone one way or another. <laughs> and Tristan Torres showing some shifty feet right there, Coach. Big time 12-yard touchdown run by the junior. PAT, snap, hold, kick, throw those hands up. Make it 7-0. Kick it high, let it fly. Goddard off to a fast start. The three and out on defense. Block a punt on fourth down. Two plays, get it in the end zone. PAT's good, 7-0, roll blue. I'm Coach Deck here with Coach Roy Ball. Homecoming night, Roswell, New Mexico at the Wool Bowl. In the Dust Bowl at the end of September. <laughs> Homecoming night. Student section showing out. Dance team, cheerleading team. Got the homecoming court taken care of pregame. Band will be rocking it at a halftime. Mr. Kevin Everett. Coach, you and I talked about it. Man, the band has been rocking all year, and they put on a show at the Pep Assembly today. Looking forward to their halftime performance. The Big Blue Crew. 
Of course, this is exactly the kind of start that you want on homecoming night. Get a, a punt block, quick turnover, short field, go and score quick. We have a 7-0 lead, and we just already just 7-18 left in the first quarter, so God is starting the game exactly how you envision. KSVPTV.com, 1061 Fiero for all you truckers. And there's Northcutt with a deep kick. This one's not as deep. It's going to bounce about the 10, and that's off of Belen out of bounds. Let's hopefully they call it that way. I don't see a flag out, so I think the officials were right on that. Yeah, and they're going to mark that right at the five, so good call by the officials. I was worried they were just going to call that a kick out of bounds, Coach, but that was a deflection off of Berlin. Yeah, Coach, unfortunate right there for Berlin, but Goddard will take it all day, take advantage of the just bad football awareness right there by the Berlin Eagle. Either way, Coach, that ball is going to roll out, whether it be a touchback or out of bounds. Got to, got to let that one go, but Goddard gladly takes the... Oh, and now they're going to throw the flag 10 minutes after the play and call it a kick out of bounds. <laughs> that was... So that's interesting. We'll have to look at a replay, Coach, because... And Coach Royball's got his Wi-Fi hotspot rolling, so <laughs> there's not going to be any call that gets past us today. Even in the haze. Even in the haze, the brown haze. Although it does seem to be moving out a little bit, yeah, Coach, looking it's out it's there. Yeah, clearing up a little bit. We might be able to get a window open here. It's starting to get hot up here, Coach. So instead of at Belen's own five-yard line, they're going to be at their own 35. Really late call there from the officials. So when we get this first and 10 from 35, Belen will have the ball. They're going to be in a double gun look. They're still trying to get lined up. It's going to be a twins to the right. And a tight end to the left with a double gun backfield. Base run to the left, trying to get the edge. No, sir. Tristan Torres. That is doing Tristan it all Torres tonight, again. Coach. He already has the early touchdown and two TFLs now. You're not going to get the wide zone out there on Tristan Torres. So, putting Blinn going backwards coach going to bring up a second and second and 13 got our defense playing strong early the old pro eye look here from Blinn an eye backfield quarterback under center split to the left Z receiver and tight end to the right and a whistle a lot of whistles here early coach Is there something going on with the play clock, Coach? The dust has got everybody screwed up down there, Coach. Okay, here we go. Pro I look, Blinn. Second and 14. Toss to the right. It's a wide toss. There's Kermode blowing it up. And then Deshaun oh. Young, Daniel Marino, and the rest of Goddard. Everybody gets a TFL there. Coach Goddard's defense flying, roll blue, going to bring up a third and long. Got to love that effort from the defensive line coach. We had, like you said, Deshaun Young and Daniel Moreno running the heel line, cleaning the play up. Moreno delivering the big hit at the end. Berlin just continue to move backwards. Another loss of three. Third and 16 coming up for Berlin. And, you know, Coach, the wind is howling, but this situation, they might have to look to pass the ball. That was a great job by Dylan Kermode. Coach, he really knifed in there, and he's the he's the contained player, forces that back inside. Here comes Flavio Garcia off the edge. Pick! There goes Gary Roybal. He's gone! High step at prime time! Gary oh, Roybal! So he tripped him with his feet right there. And that's going to be a penalty on Boleyn, but still a touchdown. Roll blue. Roybal with the pick six. And, Coach, he's, he's been close on a couple of those all year. 
And there he gets another opportunity, snatches it out of the air. The acceleration, he's a hurdler in track as well. The pick six, Goddard, roll blue, penalty on the field as well. House call, coach, for Roy Ball. Goddard starting off hot in this first quarter. A little over halfway in, and we're up 13-0. Roll blue. And, man, that, from our angle, that looked like a deliberate, pretty dirty trip there at the at the goal line. Yeah, wow. That's a dangerous play right there by Valena. You know, they already have one strike with the, the game against Valley. That's right. And I that, forgot about that. New, new NMA rule. That doesn't affect Roy Ball, though, Coach. Like I said, one of the best hurdlers in the <laughs> in the in the state. So he just hurdled the trip, and he falls in the end zone. Roll blue, snap, hold is down. North cut, throw those hands up again. Boom, fourteen one. to zero. Roll blue, Goddard on fire. We're gonna catch our breath. We'll be back for the kickoff. KSVPTV.com. It used to be printing was boring business cards and lifeless letterhead. But now it's bright, powerful, and it's on more than paper. At Southwest Printers, they bring your project to life and on just about any surface. Car magnets, cups, mugs, you name it. How about bright banners, colorful brochures... Southwest Printers is a third-generation printing company. From letterheads to business cards and all types of invitations, books, and magazines, our dedicated staff care about your project and work to get it right the first time, every time. Southwest Printers' design team makes your art stand out above the rest. Our printing team will handle your project like it's the only one in the shop. Let us print your signs, banners, window lettering, event tickets, invitations, and much, much more. Remember, Southwest Printers. If you can think it, we can print it. Find us fast in names and numbers. So the pick six from Gary Royball gets us to 14-0 Goddard, 5.41 to go first quarter. The penalty for tripping will be assessed on the kickoff. So Goddard will be kicking off from Belen's 45-yard line. So Goddard has two options here. He could boot it deep to the end zone, just take the touchback, or use the field position advantage, just go onside kick. If you don't get it, Belen still has a long way to go. We'll see what Goddard opts for. Either way, Coach, Goddard's defense on fire to start. Wow. Yeah, Coach, just a dominant series right there by defense. Two tackles for loss on run plays and a pick six to cap it. And we are going to try the onside, Coach. Looks like a good one. One bounce. Got to go on. 10. Oh. Got to go 10. Oh. Got to go 10. Nine. Nine and a half. Ball's loose. Coach, that was almost a perfect blitzed. onside kick. Oh, It's man. almost so perfect that the kicker almost recovered it. Right, and Northcutt was all the way over there <laughs> trying to pick up that ball, but it just stayed at... Just stayed at nine yards, Coach. Didn't quite get over the 10-yard mark. It was nine. They went nine and a half, back to nine, back to nine and a half, Coach. It was from the hash to the sideline. All the way to the sideline. <laughs> wow. Pretty impressive right there, Coach, even if it didn't make it all the way to 10. So like, smart got, play there by Goddard to not jump on that. Yeah, Coach, they, I was they about to say that. Gave it a chance game. to go 10. Never got there, though. Waited, waited, waited. Oh, with the fake toss, going to bring it to, with the end around. I'm going to pick up some positive yardage right here for Berlin. I'm going to get, pick up about five yards for number six of Berlin. Darian Rodriguez. It's a little fake toss, sort of a wing counter, but really nobody's pulling. So it's, like you said, Coach, more of an, kind of an end around. And yeah, they, they fake tossed it. The, they, they, the fake toss was to the left, right, Coach? And they ended up going left anyway? Yeah, I, I think they had at least one guy maybe go the wrong way there. It was... Timing was a little off. so But it is a positive play for Blinn. They're going to pick up six up to their own 41-yard line. Left hash. Twins to the left. Tight end. And a Z to the False right. Start. And they're going to get the motion pre-snap penalty. I think it was going to be a fly sweep to the field there. So it's just an observation, but that Blinn sideline looks pretty thin. Maybe they didn't have a few guys make the trip, but this is usually a, a big football team. Definitely. Like you said, there have been, there have been some battles in the past between Boleyn and Goddard for sure. So Boleyn in the same formation, they're going to do that same motion, and there it is, the fly sweep to the field. Goddard trying to string that out. Northcutt 
He's going to make a good tackle going wide. Flag on the play way deep in the backfield in the area of holding. Got us another holding call, Coach, and yep. Coach Northcutt making a good play there at the end. That was a good job again by Dylan Kermode. I think he's the one that drew that holding penalty in the backfield. And Coach, did you uh, did you find out how volleyball did today in the pool play? I haven't heard. So uh, Goddard Rocket Volleyball making the long trip up to Albuquerque uh, area for big time tournament. They had pool play. They had power pool play and then bracket play tomorrow so coming off of two big wins this week coach beating some 5a opponents alamogoro and clovis so hit me with some updates grv number, how, how it went today let me know you're watching number one ranked volleyball team in the state coach and there's that toss to the left and there is no space over there coach, another see, flag on the play coach as you said earlier goddard is just flying to the football there's some heat seeking missiles right now and it's not just one, two, one or two guys. It's three, four, five, six guys all George over. George Garcia, coach, is one of them. Luis Ortiz, Nate Reed, Flavio Garcia, Dylan Kermode. Maybe Goddard would decline this penalty, get to a third and really long, or it's going to be second and Carlsbad. <laughs> Goddard will opt for second in Carlsbad. I'll let you do that math, Coach. I I can't count that far away. But coach, right now Goddard is up 14-0, and they've ran two offensive plays. you got to love the start of this game for the Goddard Rockets. And, Coach, I'll, I'll, I won't do the math. I'll wait. It is going to be second and 30 from Belen. Scoreboard helped us <laughs> yeah. there. And they're going to try to run up the middle. Goddard all over oh, it. Keep going backwards. Going to lose two more yards. Deshaun Young. Who else? Luis Ortiz. Luis coach, Ortiz. Uh, with the Flavio. Kermode again. Roll blue. Goddard's D-line. Coach, you're going to run out of boxes for the TFLs tonight. They're going to give Blinn credit for one yard on the play. So third and 29. So third in Artesia, they got a yard. <laughs> Trips right, gun right. Garcia going to throw a quick bubble out to the right. Rodriguez looking for some space. Goddard all over that. Nathan Reed with a good tackle. And then Nate Coach, Reed. the defensive line flying down the heel line. That was Deshaun Young coming in and helping out. And then middle linebacker, Taylor Payne coming also. And really sound defense again, Coach. There's, there's Reed keeping his outside shoulder free forcing that bubble back inside and then the defense with the good pursuit three yard play fourth and 26 and coach I got a feeling Goddard's coming after this one again and it looks like they are look out Blen better get a good snap on this one or they are in trouble little and they get that one off oh the wind a, just stopped great, it coach. it's not a great punt but Blen does get a decent bounce so Blinn ends up pretty good shape there. That's probably best case coach. scenario for Blinn. They get a punt. Goddard will take over almost on our 50, right at the 50. So good job by Blinn getting out of that fourth and 30 with a with a decent punt. But Goddard blocked one already. They were coming after that one too, Coach. Yeah, Coach, they, they did come after it. And, man, that Blinn kid gave it a boom. That was about a 34-yard punt into this howling wind. And you could just see the wind just completely stop it like it, at a wall. So Goddard going to come up with good field position. But like you said, best case scenario for Blinn right there with Goddard brought, blocking that previous punt and the wind just so uh, being such a factor. So double wing, single fullback, split to the right. Ramirez, fly sweep, Silva got the edge. He's going to cut it back, cut it back again, makes a guy miss, lowers his shoulder, going to pick up nine. John Silva on the fly sweep, senior number three, on the handoff from senior number four, Dominic Ramirez. Coach, we've had fun watching those two seniors play for a long time. Yeah, Coach, both of those guys have been making making plays since they were sophomores. Dominic Ramirez having a great passing game last week against Gadsden. Seven of eight, over 150 yards, two touchdowns passing. 
And three touchdowns passing and one rushing. A big game for Dominic last week. Counter. There's Silva. Got space. Look out. He's going to cut it up. Going to pick up the first down. So start the motion. Fake the fullback give. Counter going the other way. First down, Goddard, Johnny Silva, heating up, roll blue. Goddard up 14-0, 142 and running. First quarter action. Wool Bowl, Goddard Rocket football, homecoming coach. Coaching a few uh, Blinn Eagle fans making the trip. I'd say about 20 of them. Coming and supporting their team down here. What was what that, about two and a half hour trip? Yeah, coach, and love to go the back way. There through through uh uh oh coach oh deep ball got north cut oh yeah north cut kind of misread that ball which is understandable in the wind looked like he kind of stutter stepped coach and dom, uh, dom out through him by just a little bit but good play call coach at, at that time you know he was he was open just missed him by a little bit yeah and good good separation there by number eleven Wyatt Wyatt North cut good good route. So Goddard going to have second and 10 coming up now. So Goddard Rocket, offensive line. You got Aiden Martin at center. Flavio Garcia, the left tight end. Looks like Luis Ortiz, left guard. Right tackle, Dan Moreno, and he paves the way for Johnny Silva there. Minimal gain. Maddox Chavez, the right tackle. Football guy, shot put guy. <laughs> so third and ten, Goddard, minimal gain there. We got Blaze Dean down there as well. He should be the left tackle. Football guy. Nathan Reed coming off. Coach Tristan Torres coming in. Both two juniors who have been playing really good football for us this year this fly sweep there going to the left Torres going to cut that one back fall forward pick up a few going to bring up a fourth and eight or so I think you'll see Goddard go for this that'll be the end of the first quarter so the field will flip here this will give Goddard a chance to water up go over a fourth down play we'll be back for the second quarter Goddard Rocket football up 14 to 0 coach deck with coach Roy Ball ksvptv.com roll blue the ultimate wi-fi experience is now available to you thanks to smart home wi-fi with plateau get fiber to home technology 100 times faster than average household internet speed plateau has multiple plans and options to fit your family with fast get true 100 megs per second download and upload speed with faster get true 500 megs of download and upload speeds and with fastest you get one gig learn more at plateautel.com get the speed you need with plateau tried true Trusted. There's the ramp, the edge of cool. Speaking of cool, Coach Roy Ball up here with Coach Deck. Coach, so there was a timeout on the play. So we actually have four seconds left in the first quarter. Goddard, big fourth down. Trips right. Gun to the right. Ramirez in the shotgun. He's going to take the snap. Screen time, Coach. Oh, no. We're going to go with the option. option. Going to pitch it, keep it. Going to keep it, fall forward. Yes. The first down, Dominic. There you go. And Dom again showing some good speed right there on the option, Coach. Picking up the first down on fourth down. Showing off the speed. Hit. Dominic Ramirez on the 18 option. The clock. in the spot. I thought he got oh, it for sure, man. Coach. Oh, man. Oh, we might have jumped the gun on that one, Coach. Coach, I thought he fell forward easily and got it. That's Dominic's forte falling forward. Coach. That's a first down. Point that Robo. way. There it is. Dominic Ramirez. 
the Dom keep for the first down, and that is the end of the first quarter. But we're going to keep it here. So we will flip the field, and Goddard will have a first and ten going the other way now, Coach. So, Coach, first quarter recap. All Goddard. Blinn got the ball first. Quick three and out. Goddard block punt. Two plays in the end zone. Make it 7-0. Goddard's defense gets Blinn to a third down. Carry Roy ball. The pick six. The house call. Prime time. And, Coach, we got to talk about that onside kick again by Wyatt Northcutt. That, that thing has some good spin on it, and the Goddard, deep, the Goddard kick, kickoff team showed some good discipline by waiting until it went 10 yards. It just didn't quite make it, but, man, that's going to be a good weapon to have in the future, that's for sure. Then Goddard takes over on, on offense and facing a big fourth and nine. Senior Dominic Ramirez runs the option, lowers the shoulder, accelerates through the sticks for the first down. Here we go, first and 10. Trips left, gun left. Roy ball split to the right. Looks like Northcut, Chavez, and Torres. Torres in the trips to the left. Ramirez in the shotgun with Johnny Silva. Maggio, right tackle. Moreno, right guard. Aiden Martin, center. Left guard, Luis Ortiz. Blaze Dean to the left. Oh, Quick hitch to Tristan Torres, just off his hands and coach. If he can catch that one, he has a lot of space. I think you'll see Goddard come come back to that play. And Tristan Torres already tonight has shown a lot of quickness out there, coach. That's going to be a dangerous play for us. Yeah, coach. And Dominic Ramirez showing off that arm strength right there, firing a bullet to Torres. And like you said, he had room if he caught it. So look to Goddard to come back to that one later on. Second and 10, clock will stop, 11.56, second quarter. Long way to go here, homecoming night. It's going to be the same formation, flip the personnel around a little bit. You have Josiah Castillo split to the right. I got a feeling this might be a deep shot here to the right. There it is, deep ball, balls up in the air. Castillo go up and get it. Fight for it in the end zone. Oh, he stole it from him. Another Moss. That ball was a little bit behind him. Josiah Castillo, the chosen one, elevates. The defender from Boleyn, coach, had it in his hands. And then Castillo just went up over him, reached back down, rips it out from him. Another highlight real play from Dominic Ramirez and Josiah Castillo make it 20-0. Coach, Josiah Castillo literally had almost his entire body over that Boleyn kid, grabbed the ball from him, spun and wrestled at the end to pull it down. You got Moss, coach. Again, Josiah Castillo. Head showing tap off, again, coach. Showing off that freaky athleticism right there. Dominic Ramirez putting the ball on the money. Throw them. Hands up. Roll blue. Wyatt Northcutt with the PAT. Got it up 21-0. Your Rockets are rolling. So hit us with scores around the state. Uh, around the state, I believe Artesia is playing Santa Teresa, number one team in the state. Artesia, Roswell, number two team in the state. They're making the long trip to Farmington to play Piedra Vista at the Hutch, Coach. So a lot of big football games tonight. So hit us up with what's going on there. Still looking for got a rocket volleyball updates. Let us know you're watching there. What we got going on tomorrow with that. Here at the Wool Bowl homecoming night, 21-0 Goddard, roll blue. Roy producing for us. I'm Coach Deck with Coach Roy Ball. Coach and Artesia up 28-0 in the first quarter against Sanatee. And Roswell up 13-0 in the second against PV. Northcutt with the deep kick, and that's going to be... We're going to skim that one on the ground. Big bounce, number four from Belen Avila. Trying to find space. Going to the sideline. There's Deshaun Young. There's Josiah Castillo. Going to force him out about the 29-yard line. Two lot. penalties, Coach. Probably a block on the back penalty. A lot of flags down there. Uh -huh. 
So it's going to be on Goddard, Coach. Where's the so face mask? So it's a there's a flag on this sideline and then the opposite sideline. You wouldn't think they would have seen the same face mask that far apart, maybe. And Coach White wants an explanation, and I do as well. I, w I would like one too, Coach. If anything, that's offsetting penalties, right? Because I'm with you, Coach. There's no way those two saw the same face mask penalty for, from that far away. And for this line judge to throw that face mask penalty, that's not his call anyway. So I think he did call something else. We'll see whether it was on the Rockets or not. And a lot of discussion tonight, Coach. Lots of penalties, lots of discussion, Coach. So we're just going to see, we're going to move it. And after that discussion, we're going to get a signal here for the first time tonight. Personal foul, Goddard, holding, Belen. So there you go. So we were, that's kind of what we thought. There were two flags on opposite sides of the field, but only one penalty called. So this should be... Offsetting, re-kick, or just take the spot? What do they do? Let's see. Another discussion, Coach? I think Belen's ready to go. So is Goddard. Meeting of the minds right now, Coach. But the, the discussion is now over. So after all that, we're going to get into a pro left set. That's Belen in the eye. Quarterback under center lead play to the left. Got some space. Look out. Good cut. And there is Rodriguez. So old school lead play there, coach, to the, to the, to the tight end side. Fullback lead up on the backer. Coach, that nice play there. Nice run by number six, Darian Rodriguez. First and ten into Goddard's territory. Coach Darian Rodriguez showing some good speed. If he gets to that second level, he's going to get some yardage. And Taylor Payne and Gary Roybal combining with that touchdown save and tackle right there. Same formation, but flip now. Pro right still in the eye. Belen under center. Lead play to the right. Goddard all over that one. Rodriguez maybe going to get two. Hey, Goddard players on that, Coach. Led by Luis Ortiz and Deshaun Young right there. Maddox Chavez also in on that. George Garcia playing defensive tackle, showing his versatility. He was playing safety earlier in the year, Coach. Second and eight, eight for Boleyn on Goddard's 39-yard line. Middle of the field. Lynn going to stay in that pro set. Nope. Well, it's still a pro formation, a different backfield. And they're going to be the Belen coaches in the press box next to us fired up about that false start. Let me tell you. I'm assuming the kid's name was Buck. Coach. Roy, we got to set up one of these microphones on the wall there next time. I don't know. We'll have to change the. We'll have to change this from a PG-13 to a an R-rated broadcast. There, coach, we get the mic on the wall. <laughs> so, Belen not happy with the false start. Double gun backfield to spread look. Twins left, single to the right, base run to the right. Balls out. Balls on the ground. Looks oh. like it might have bounced right back to Rodriguez. And penalty, coach. Or I think maybe his flat just fell out. Maybe. The wind just doing crazy things today, Coach. The crazy September wind. Oh, and you're you're right, Coach. Go ahead and point Goddard's way. Roll blue. Goddard does come up with the ball. I didn't see who came up with it. I think maybe was it Deshaun Young, Coach? Well, Deshaun. 
Is Sean Young's excited. He was in on it for sure. Did Kermode, Kermode come up with it? Oh, and there is another flag, and this is over on Boleyn's sideline as they're walking off. Coach, we'll have another meeting of the minds. Unsportsmanlike conduct. And, Coach, like you said, I mean, and this is an important point to bring up, Boleyn does have one strike this year already with the new NMA uh, two-strike policy, and they are racking up the flags right now. And that one is going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct as Belen was was walking off the field. Belen is in danger they, for, for strike two, Coach. I mean, not, not, yeah. they got to be careful with that. If they get two strikes, I believe their season's over. Their season, yeah, that, it would be over, correct? Coach. So, now it's, it's different if it's team-initiated. If it's fan-initiated with the strike policy, it's different. But team-initiated two strikes your season's over and they already have one and they are having unsportsmanlike penalty now already and a tripping call earlier getting getting a little rough out there got it up 21-0 toss to the right Silva gonna get the edge cut it back cut it back again breaks another tackle and a, a host of Blend players jumped on the Johnny train and he kept rolling First down, right at the 20 of Boleyn. Roll blue, Johnny Silva. Coach, a lot of space out there. The offensive line. Extra syrup on those pancakes out there, Coach. Maddox Chavez, Aiden Martin, Blaze Dean, Daniel Moreno. Paving the way right there for the 18-yard rush. For Flavio Garcia. For John Silva right there. Oh, and let's go. False start by God. We're going to try the same play on the other side. We got a false start. They're going to take us back five yards. Goddard pretty well. Have the whole playbook open right now, Coach. 21-0. Lynn's body language, not not too good down there, Coach. They're walking around, hands on hips. Goddard can hit them with something here. Goddard going to try this again, go with the toss, and toss there's room left. for sure. Silva got the edge again. Acceleration, run over the – and then another flag. Uh-oh, and they're pointing at Blinn's sideline again. Coach, this is going to be another penalty on Blend's sideline, I believe. That's what it looked like, Coach. That that so, side judge over there. So I thought maybe it was going to be a hold out on the edge by Goddard, but then the official turned around and was pointing at Blend's sideline. So it is going to be on on Goddard, but the official again from Blend turned around and warned Blend's sideline. Multiple points, Coach. So getting, I don't even know if chippy is the word couple steps above Chippy. A little bit of extracurricular activities going on, Coach. So Goddard up against it now. The first down, <coughs> false start, and then a hold. First and 25, clock running. 9.46, second quarter. Goddard up 21-0. Back to Belen's 35-yard line now. Double wing, single fullback. Ramirez under center. Motion right to left. That's Reed. Little trap play. Perez trying to find some space. Can pick up a few. Number two, Xavier Perez playing some good ball. Your coach. Yeah, coach been making some big plays at fullback. Got some good feet. Uh, contact runner. The second and Dexter coming up right here, Coach for Goddard. But, you know, the offense has been rolling all night, so expect them to get, the, to, to get this first down. Motion right to left. With a oh, no. Hook. And Goddard starting to rack up the penalties now. Another false start. You don't want to see those, those unforced pre-snap penalties like that, Coach. We're rolling. We're up 21-0. Lynn not giving a lot of resistance right now. So we just gotta we just gotta settle down, coach. Play the game. Uh -huh. 
All right, double wing, north cut, split to the left. Ramirez under center motion, right to the left. That's Reed. 17 option. Perez got some space, looking to hit the Jets, going to bounce it, trying to get the edge, breaks a tackle, breaks another one, breaks another one. Going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Xavier Perez, number two. Great looking run there, coach. About a 17 yard gain. He's showing some good speed and some physicality at the end, coach. Shaking off some tackles. Gonna bring up a third and 11. Clock will stop out of bounds. Castillo checking on. We know what that might mean here, coach. Third and 11. Yeah, and, coach. If I'm he's going to be split to the right, way to the right, singled up man coverage. If I'm that corner, I'm Get asking your for help. Get out, coach. If I'm that corner, I'm asking for help, coach. Looking for a little deep ball to the corner. They're running a little slant. There's Castillo looking to break a tackle. And he's going to pick up seven. Going to bring up a fourth and two. So Goddard will go for this. So they hit him with the deep ball. Then they hit the slant underneath. Good ball. The Dom slant. Good catch. And Castillo almost spun out of that, coach. Going to bring up a fourth and three. Play clock resets. Goddard in the huddle. Big early fourth down here. If you're Belen, you get a stop here. Got a chance to cut into Goddard's lead. If you're Goddard, obviously pick up this first down or put it in the end zone. Big play early. Mid-second quarter. Double wing motion right to left. Goddard trying to get the hard count to draw him off. And then Goddard will call a timeout. So I imagine Goddard will call a timeout. And we'll call the call the play we want here. So we're going to take a quick timeout as well. We'll be back. Big fourth down coming up. Got it up 21-0. Roll blue. September is National Peripheral Artery Disease Awareness Month. Peripheral artery disease, also known as PAD, is a condition that impacts more than 8 million Americans. PAD is caused by the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which then reduces blood flow from the heart to the arms or legs. When undetected, PAD can lead to heart disease, stroke, or even amputation. The good news is that PAD is preventable and treatable. Learn more about the risk factors and symptoms at artesiageneral.com forward slash PAD awareness. And we are back for a big fourth down play. Sweet home Alabama playing during the break. We're looking for sweet home Goddard here on fourth and three. Double wing Ramirez under center. Fourth and three. Here we go. Motion right to left. The follow, the dom follow, the cut. Push the pile. Fall forward all the way down to the three-yard line. So Dominic Ramirez, the Dom follow, looking like his boy Jalen Hurts on that one. And, Coach, he hit him with the follow a couple times last week as well. That's a play you're starting to see Dom really get a good feel for, and he picks up the first down on a big fourth and three play. Make it first and goal, Goddard. Roll blue. Looking to punch this one in, Coach. Coach Dom with another big first down on fourth down. That's two fourth down conversions for him on the ground. So being a dual threat quarterback tonight, Coach. Motion right to left out the double wing. There's the follow again. Dominic Ramirez finds that same gap. Throw those hands up again. Dominic Ramirez, the Dom follow. Make it 27-0. Roll blue. And, Coach, there you go. We pick up the big fourth down run the same play again Goddard finding space off that left side that's Blaze Dean football guy Luis Ortiz trying to get that left tight end over there Flavio, Flavio Garcia, Garcia. So Goddard going in the way Goddard going for two right here yeah, Belen not giving a lot of resistance out there. And there's the full fly sweep, and he's in. John Silva, the two-point conversion, and another flag after the play. Two of them, Coach. From two different, again, two different sides. All 
All right. All right, so there's going to be another discussion for penalties. And I believe they're going to be on Boleyn for another after the play penalty. I mean, it is a, oh, they're going to call it on Goddard. This will back Goddard up on the kickoff. So with that two-point conversion, Coach Goddard taking a 29-0 lead with 6.50 left here in the second quarter. So Goddard will end up kicking this off from their own 25. So 6.50 to go, second quarter. Goddard up 29-0. Two-point conversion's good. Coach, not a whole lot to say tonight other than a whole lot of roll blue on offense, defense, special teams. Because this is the kind of performance you'd like to see going into the bye week before you start district against the toughest district in the state. <laughs> And again, that next Goddard game will be on a Thursday in Las Cruces against Mayfield. That will be October 12th, Coach. Also, big win going into Fair Week, Coach. Rodriguez. I'm sorry, number 10. Harris for Boleyn. It's the edge there. Nice, nice return up to their own 48 yard line. So Blinn starting off this possession in good field position with 642 left in the second quarter, coach. They got to get something going to get into this game. And if you're Goddard, you're looking for a quick stop, get the ball back, and then we have ball coming out third quarter. Yeah, coach, the way this. Got our defense is playing, then we might be able to get two big stops before this That's it. before this first half end. We already have a pick six, so the defense multiple tackles able for to losses, score as well. Two coach just dominant performance so far. Blend just a couple first downs, if that. You can get back in that pro look. Pro to the right in the eye. Under center. Lead or toss. There's the lead. They run the weak side lead there. Gain of one. Torres again for Goddard on the tackle. Coach, he's been all over the place, offense and defense. Aiden Martin going to enter the game as uh, one of the backers coach of the Mike linebacker. Blinn going to be in a two-by-two two look gun left. Got Pressure. Back. Ball's up. Oh, and Blinn catches it, but only about a six-yard gain. Coach, that ball was trouble up in the air. North cut, good tackle. Kermode was in there as well. And coach, that win has definitely settled down. It has settled down to that would be a complete zero. <laughs> yeah, because those Cause flags we went from 60 to zero. Typical Roswell, New Mexico <laughs> weather right those there. Those flags are not moving at all on top of the goalposts. So. No dirt anywhere. We have landed on Mars and the dust has settled. Turned into a nice fall night now. Toss left. There is Kermode playing a good contain. Forces that back inside. A whole host of Goddard Rockets there. Luis Ortiz. Flavio Garcia. Deshaun Young. Nate Reed. Again, Kermode. 
making the fundamentally sound play there, turning that in. On this fourth down play, Daniel Moreno coming back in. Coach to play defensive tackle along with Jorge Garcia, Deshaun Young, defensive end. Flavio Garcia is the other defensive end. It looks like, Coach, we have Zach Ariano playing one of the corners. I believe that's Bills, Coach. Bills. Oh, Bills. Bills making his uh, season debut tonight. It's great to see him out there. Sebastian Bills, number 20. Javelin guy as well. So timeout on the field. So got it up 29-0. Coach homecoming night, like we said, started off a dust bowl to say the least. Almost zero visibility driving up to the stadium tonight. Winds blowing, dirt everywhere, lightning in the background, no rain of course. And the first half was pretty messy. A lot of wind, a lot of penalties, a lot of roll blue into the end zone. Now the weather's settled down a little bit. Belen looking to settle down a little bit. Get, try to get something going on this possession, but Goddard has them in a fourth down, fourth and four. In Goddard's territory on the 47-yard line left hash. Belen's going for it. It's going to be a spread look, two by two, gun to the left. Hunter Garcia, senior quarterback. I think you might see, well, Aiden Martin's walking up. You might just see maybe a quarterback run here, try to pick up the four, spread us out. Nope, he's going to drop straight back to pass, deep ball. Oh, and they're going to get pass interference on that one I don't know coach I mean the ball wasn't on target and both guys looked back for the ball and tried to adjust to it and they kind of more ran into each other on the under it wasn't even under thrown really it was more off target okay. but that but but that never goes the the defense's way in in any game so no, Coach, so unfortunate right there, like you said, just their legs getting tangled up, and especially because it was a bad throw. Coach, that got me for a second. I thought that was an actual train. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bling going to pick up the first down on the defensive pass interference call. Going to have the ball at the Goddard 34-yard line. By far their best field position of the night, Coach. Lynn going to jump into a trips to the right, gun to the right look. Garcia in the shotgun. 431, base run up the middle, and they're going to get the edge. Harris, Roy Ball comes off, makes a big tackle, along with Aiden Martin flying from his Mike linebacker spot. Out of bounds. So good job by Roy Ball and Aiden Martin there. Aiden Martin showing off the speed there. Mike Linebacker, coach, playing sideline to sideline. Yeah, because he's been a ball hawk on defense as that, as that middle linebacker. He, he's been making lots of lots of tackles, like you said, playing sideline to sideline, making good reads. Aiden Martin, the senior, stepping up for Goddard. Seven-yard gain for Belen, bringing up a second and three on Goddard's 32. Two by two look, gun to the left. Garcia straight drop back to pass. Little slant. Ball's up in the air. Interception. Goddard looking for space, trying to get the sideline. Dylan Kermode going to cut it back, going to cut it back again. Make it one more cut back. Falls forward down to Belen's 40. Tack on another 15 for another face mask. Goddard rolling again off the interception. Roll blue. Dylan Kermode. Coach from Goddard defense playing great all night. Belen had their best drive of the night. Thanks to a pass interference call, and Dylan Cremona on a tip pass gets the interception, takes it all the way down to the blend 40, and then we had a 
a face mask penalty on Belen, so Goddard should get the ball here at the 25-yard line. Oh, horse collar is what they called it, but they could have called a face mask, too. And Coach Belen, I mean, the way they tackle is face mask or a trip or a horse collar. Not, not real impressed with it, to be honest with you. Yeah, because that's the way you get somebody hurt for sure. And it's been pretty consistent all night. I mean, it's going to happen sometimes, but they've done it several times. And I got a feeling Goddard's not going to slow down in this game because of it. Bone, north cut, split to the left. Option, pitch. Reed got the edge. Accelerate. Needs one more block. He's going to get the pylon throw. Those hands up again. Nate Reed showing off the speed of the end zone. Roll blue. Make it 35-0 and the running clock. Big time 22-yard touchdown right there by Nathan Reed, coach. Throw them hands up. Goddard is absolutely rolling. The running clock mercy rule is starting. Man, coach. Or does it start second half? Second half, yeah, coach. Second, you're right, second half. And also, if you're up by 50. Out half, then it's over. Then it's over. So, you know, both those things coming into uh, might come into play here for Goddard, just the way they've been dominating this football game. Yeah, and Goddard's going for two, and I would too. Motion, fly sweep. Johnny Silva breaks one tackle, breaks another one. Blaze Dean, football guy, gets some out of the back of the end zone. Love it. Blaze Dean needs some IHOP with extra pancakes, extra syrup after that one. Throw some blueberries on there, coach. That's a heavy duty pancake there. Took him out That's of the. That's a shout out to Larry Luna days right That's there. That's exactly coach. what I thought about, coach. Took him out of the back of the end zone, a la Larry Luna. Brings back some good memories. So, Coach got her rolling 37 0. No, no penalty on Belen on that play. 37 0. All right, so nothing but a good time up here. Coach Royball with Coach Deck, 37-0 Goddard, 3:41 second quarter, North Cut. Going to be kicking this off north to south. Belen having trouble. Good kick by North Cut deep. Belen's going to field that out to five. Harris trying to find some space. Goddard flying down. Good play there. Good tackle by, is that Ricky Winchester? Ricky Winchester. Oh, Ricky. Yeah, Ricky. Javelin guy as well. Oh, my goodness, Coach. He was flying. What a tackle. Ricky Winchester. That a boy, Ricky. The kind of kid you put on kickoff, Coach. The one you know is going to fly down the field with all they That's got. It. Ricky Winchester making a big tackle, sophomore. Yeah. And, a, and, Coach, a great form tackle as well. And coach, the Artesia Santa T game is over. Goddard win. I mean, Artesia winning fifty three to zero, and then Roswell up seventeen zero in the second quarter against PV. Nimi up on Hope seven zero in the third quarter. So Goddard up thirty seven zero three thirty four second quarter. Blend with the ball, lead to the right. Goddard. Oh, Daniel Moreno, look out. And coach, he he ripped under that ran heel line and a big hit. I think he knocked the wind out of himself there. He what a what a play. Blen does get three yards on the play. So three ten and running second quarter. Goddard up 37-0. So we have North Cut and Bills as corners coach, two seniors for Goddard. And they're showing press coverage out there. Goddard showing some pressure. Looked like he might have jumped off sides, but no call. didn't call it. Alberto Chavez bringing the Blen Eagle out of bounds before the first down. So going to be a third and short coming up for Blen right here. 
And did they call that out of do they call him out of bounds, coach? Or I, I missed it. Because the clock is running, the reason I ask. So because he was definitely... So maybe the 35-0 running clock uh does account for the first half now. It, it didn't used to do that. It could be a rule change. Unless they marked him inbounds there. But there's no way he was because they think Yeah. The third and short right here. Gonna go with the lead play. Oh, oh. balls out again. Aiden Martin forced it, and who jumped on it? But I guess Look. Belen got it. Wow, Coach Aiden Woo! Martin shot out of a cannon to make that tackle for lost play. Clutch on third down. Aiden Martin stepping up big tonight. And Coach, a big game, another big game in 5A football. Deming versus Mayfield, 0-0 in the first quarter. Well, we'll have to have an update on that. Aiden Martin with the TFL and the double F. Force fumble. Belen does jump on it, and they'll have to punt. Goddard, they're going to send Torres and Chavez back to receive this. Clock is running, so Goddard's going to get another chance here. See if Goddard comes after this one. A little bit of a low snap. Line drive punt. Got a lot of space. Here comes Chavez. Look out. He's going to head to the sideline. Now he's going to cut back. Got a lot of field. Look out. Accelerate. Alberto Chavez runs over a guy arm, coach. and another flag on the play, but all the way down to Belen's 30. Alberto Chavez off the great punt return. It was a low line driver. When you get those low line drives, you got a lot of space to run. And showing some good hands, coach. That's a hard punt to handle. And Alberto Chavez caught it with ease, took it to the left side, said, wait one second, took it all the way to the right. Picked up huge yardage, Coach, and looks like they're going to have a holding penalty on Goddard, though. So was it? It must have been right. Or it might have been a... Did they call maybe face mask? Like, an, like he went to stiff arm and they called a face mask on Alberto Chavez, maybe? That's not... So I didn't really see a whole, I mean, because with, just with where they spotted the ball, it would be right from the original or where Chavez landed. Option left. Perez. Oh, make a cut. Accelerate. He's looking for the sideline. Dips the shoulder. Gets another five. Out of bounds at the 20. And the clock is running confirmed on we're, the out of bounds. We're trying to tell him to stop. So they're going to stop to move the chains. Co we're, Coach we're, White and the coaching staff wanted, wondering the same thing. And they now can, it's running again. <laughs> now it's stopped again, Coach. Madness, Coach. <laughs> so, and it's staying stopped now that the chains are set. So, so 55.9 seconds to go. Ball is square on the 20-yard line left hash. Goddard up 37-0. Sprinting to the line. Dom ready to go. Ball's down. Motion right to left. That's Reed. Fake toss. Counter. Silva. Patient. Cuts. Boleyn all over that one. Johnny still on his feet trying to push the pile, trying to break another tackle. Clock's running. Timeout, Goddard. Well, Coach, 37-0. Big drive for Goddard, Coach. If they score here and then score when they get the ball coming out of the half, that will be game. So hopefully Goddard can make that come to fruition and we can get an early night here. Just a dominant performance by Goddard so far. Defensively, offensively, all aspects of the game. You love to see it for the home crowd, the homecoming crowd. 1983, 40-year anniversary. Uh, for the Goddard Rocket class is here, so they get to uh, see a show put on by the Goddard Rocket football team. Ramirez back to pass, little under route to Castillo. That is incomplete, and the ball's running 
on an incomplete pass. So confirmed again running clock, Coach. <laughs> then Coach White calls another timeout. I think <laughs> I think everybody is is confused on on the clock. We need here. to get on the same page here, Coach. <laughs> All right, got it on the ball. Third and six now, 32 seconds, trips right, single to the left. Now we're back in the huddle. Got a full play clock, play clock still, Coach, so might as well, I guess. Added a couple seconds back on the clock. Went from 36.2 to 38 even. All right. Goddard back in the huddle. Here we go, coach. All right. Finally. <laughs> Trips right. Gun to the left. 38 seconds to go. First half, second quarter, Ramirez. Back to pass. Quick hitch, Torres. Belen all over that one. we got to get on the ball and go here. So clock is running. Going to be a fourth down. Well, the scoreboard says third. The chains say fourth. Let's see. Trips right. Ramirez going to pump fake. Screen. Silva. Oh, he's got the first down and more. And throw those hands up again. Johnny Silva, the Dom screen. The screen Mary again, coach. Last play of the first down. Back-to-back <laughs> -back weeks, coach. 21-yard touchdown right there. Pass from Dominic Silva. Uh, Dominic Ramirez to John Silva. What a way to... In the half for Goddard Coach. And as we mentioned, they get the ball coming out of half coming out of the half. So 43-0, 7.9 seconds to go. PAT pending. Ramirez is gonna be on the hold. North cut on the kick. Blaze Dean on the snap. Throw those hands up on the PAT again. Make it 44-0 Goddard. Roll blue. We'll take a quick timeout for this kickoff. We're up here doing right, living free. The need to grow past our basic capabilities and experience the impossible will forever keep aviation technology evolving. Within the Aviation Maintenance Technology Program at ENMU Roswell, students thrive knowing that the faculty and community are supporting their success. ENMU Roswell is dedicated to empowering students through hands-on skills training in a nurturing environment. To learn more, contact us today. All right, there's the ramp. North cut with the knee kickoff. Seven seconds to go, first half. This one just rolling around out there. And first half, oh, Potter almost a big hit. And that's going to do it. Are they going to run the clock out? No, there's going to be one play left. So Blinn will get one chance, one crack at the end zone here from their own 40 yard line. So halftime show. Uh, Mr. Kevin Everett, Big Blue Crew Band Director. He'll be giving a halftime interview with the legend Mike Winter, so stick around for that. Coach Goddard's band, like we said earlier, been just rocking the house all year. Loud and proud unit there. Yeah, Coach's been doing a really, really good job, and some of the band kids mentioned to me that they have, they'll have competition coming up soon, so, you know, revving up and playing well at the perfect time. And, you know, they'll be out Monday at the parade. Blend back to pass. This could get interesting here. Bills, good coverage, but they're going to another flag. Coach, I thought that was good coverage by Bills, but I guess they'll get him on a P.I. Because he knocked the ball away. I guess he's got to flip his head around. 
So Belen showing no showing no quit there, just going deep ball and half can't in on a penalty. Okay, so that. big big blue crew, Mr. Kevin Everett, he'll be giving an interview at halftime. Uh, like we said, the band's been rocking out, cheerleader, dance team. Myself and Coach Roy Ball will be raiding the pizza boxes out in the hallway here. <laughs> I'm going to go look for some WD-40, Coach. We can maybe get these windows open, get a little ventilation in here for the second half. Now that the dust is settled. <laughs> now the dust bowl is no more. And Coach, right there, I'm with you. I didn't think Bills did anything wrong. They were both hand fighting all the way down the field, and Bills turns around and the ball knocks the ball out. So I thought good defense by Bills. but and Either way, that Coach, that's great to see Bills out there. You know, it's, he's, he's a kid that's been out, and, man, he's back. Of course, his... His brother, Dallas Bills, another great guy, rocket football player, track guy also. And there is another long discussion out here, Coach. So 44-0 Goddard. Ref in the passer penalty called actually on Goddard coach. So well there was a flag thrown at the at the actual pass at play. The pass play down there as well. So again, two flags on opposite ends of the field. Coach, it's 8.20. We haven't got to halftime. That just shows how many penalties yeah. <laughs> have been called in this game and how many meeting of the minds we've had. So, Blinn, we'll have another Hail Mary chance here. And something to keep an eye on, Coach. So with Belen going for a Hail Mary here, it does open up a chance for a pick six game you know, in there. Just some sort of crazy play, a pick six. You know, maybe the quarterback scrambles around. You know, you know, you want to try to give your receivers enough time to get down to the end zone. Well, that could maybe hurt. maybe big hit, fumble, scoop and score. And let's say that does happen. The game would be over a 50 zero at, at half. And he's going to drop straight back, throw it deep ball. That's going to be way long. What a, what, what an arm. What an that impressive kid. arm by the Belen quarterback. Hunter Garcia threw that from his own 45, almost all the way to our goal line. Really, really is more from his 40, actually almost 60 yards in the air. Tight spiral. Anyways, falls harmlessly to the turf. Goddard with a 44-0 halftime lead. We've got to be careful crossing paths here. So 15 minutes on the clock. They will start that once both teams are in the locker room. Goddard up big, 44-0. Stick around for our halftime show. Roll blue. Believe it or not, your home insurance company isn't evil. Jennifer from Trustmark Roofing here. A lot of roofers make your insurance company out to be your enemy. They'll talk about fighting and battling your insurance to get you the claim you deserve. But honestly, your insurance company is a group of people. People just like you and me. That's why we don't treat your roof insurance claim, insurance claim like we're going to war. We treat it like a court case. We provide your insurance company every piece of evidence needed to get you the highest possible claim. We submit photos, videos, detailed documents, and line-by-line -line estimates. And guess what? Our non-combat approach works. On 92% of roof insurance claims, we get the highest amount the first time. And the rare times we don't, well then, that's when we go to bat for you. Call today for your 20% off coupon for our spring roof and gutter maintenance service. 575-755-ROOF or visit TrustmarkRoofPros.com Trustmark Roofing We put people first 
The ultimate Wi-Fi experience is now available to you thanks to smart home Wi-Fi with Plateau. Get fiber to home technology 100 times faster than average household internet speed. Plateau has multiple plans and options to fit your family. With fast, get true 100 megs per second download and upload speed. With faster, get true 500 megs of download and upload speeds. And with fastest, you get one gig. Learn more at PlateauTel.com. Get the speed you need with Plateau. Tried. True. Trust hey, neighbors, there's a new source for all your appliance needs in the area. We're Roswell Appliance Outlet. We sell new minor scratch and dent appliances and we'll help you save 40 to 60% off of MSRP. All come with warranty and personalized service. We also offer parts and service for your existing household appliances. We offer financing and delivery options as well. Don't make that big box store mistake. Come see us at Roswell Appliance Outlet today at 600 South Main in Roswell or call 575-363-9236. Roswell Appliance Outlet, a proud supporter of Roswell Sports. Check out some of the savings you'll find this week at your local farmer's country market. Eight count packages of tender crust hamburger or hot dog buns are $1.38 each. And assorted 12 pack cans of Shasta soda are three for $12. In produce, red or black plums are $1.99 a pound. And extra large red seedless grapes are two pounds for $3. In the meat department, family packs of 81% lean ground beef are $2.99 a pound. And boneless skinless chicken breasts are $1.49 a pound. These are just some of the bargains you'll find this week at your local farmer's country market. Market. Summer's coming, and you're going to want to hit the road for a little well-deserved vacation time. At Ridgeland Motors, it's never been easier to sell or trade your current car, truck, or SUV for a newer model to hit the road in. Even if you don't purchase from Ridgeland, they want to buy your vehicle for top dollar. But if you do buy from Ridgeland, don't forget, they're the home of the powertrain warranty for life. That's a whole lot of confidence for you. See Ridgeland for details, 2nd and Sycamore, and 1309 Southeast Main. Hey, CVE members, have you scheduled your no-cost home energy audit? If not, it's time to sign up. Call 575-746-3571 to get your name on the list for a free home energy audit. Weather stripping, new door sweeps, minor repairs, and much more. Start saving money and keep that purchased air in your home. Central Valley Electric Cooperative is happy to partner with Green Metal Energy for this valuable audit. Again, 575-746-3571.
Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. forward one year, four years, 40 years. What does the future look like? How will you ignite it? This is where the future gets fueled, where ideas come to life and identities flourish. This is where we define opportunity as individuals and as a pack. Being a Lobo is about so much more than the classes you take. It's about the mark you make on your world because the journey starts here, but it never ends. What will you ignite? Bob Reed Pest Control protects you and your home by controlling pests that invade. Bob Reed Pest Control understands the importance of safety in and around your home from unwanted pests. Protect your family's most important investment, your home, and protect your children and pets from the dangers of poisonous bugs and insects. Call Bob Reed Pest Control today and let our fully licensed pest control professionals start working for you and your family. Find us fast in names and numbers. Call 623-5344. Serving all of Southeast New Mexico. September is National Peripheral Artery Disease Awareness Month. Peripheral artery disease, also known as PAD, is a condition that impacts more than 8 million Americans. PAD is caused by the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which then reduces blood flow from the heart to the arms or legs. When undetected, PAD can lead to heart disease, stroke, or even amputation. The good news is that PAD is preventable and treatable. Learn more about the risk factors and symptoms at artesiageneral.com forward slash PAD awareness. Dion's is proud to be a part of the Roswell community and is the perfect place for team dinners, family gatherings, and all your catering needs. Stop by Dion's in their beautiful restaurant at 1350 South Main Street in Roswell for the best pizza, salads, and subs in town. Or visit Dion's.com to order ahead for dine-in or for a super fast pickup. That's Dion's.com to see the full menu and order ahead. Thanks, Roswell, for letting Dion's celebrate the community they love. Dion's, where great food and good people meet. Your locally owned and operated Big O Tires has the best deals on tires, brakes, oil changes, and more. Now through October 1st, get $50 to $100 in instant savings on four select in-stock Nexon or National Tires. And don't forget Big O has convenient financing options available. These savings won't last. Make an appointment online or head into Big O Tires today. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Check it, check, it, check it out! Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. Try it now! Check it out!
Now I can hear myself. ACDC. Rocking the mic. For your Goddard Rocket football team coming out of the locker room at halftime with a 44-0 halftime lead. Two minutes still on the clock before we get the second half started. Coach, I don't know where you start other than to say Goddard Rocket football just all-out domination. It started with a quick three-and-out block punt, two plays in the end zone, make it 7-0 pick six after that and then just one stop after another some deep balls to Castillo big runs by Silva Reed Xavier Perez Dominic Ramirez pick six from Roy Ball coach we saw it all in that first half yeah coach Goddard just thoroughly dominating the game defense leading the way offense had a good half but they had so much short yardage situations because defense playing so well we had Dominic Ramirez went four of six passing for 56 yards and a touchdown to Josiah Castillo. Josiah Castillo with two catches for 31 yards and a touchdown. John Silva with the catch uh, for 24 yards and a touchdown. And then so Dominic Ramirez had two touchdowns uh, passing actually. And Tristan Torres with the catch for one yard. Goddard had 15 rushes for 140 yards. They had 9.3 yards per carry average, and they had three rushing touchdowns. One of them being by uh, one of them tri- by Tristan Torres, one of them by Nathan Reed, and another by Dominic Ramirez. So Goddard just doing work offensively this evening. And so with it being 44-0, we will be in a running clock situation. Other than. Ch-
game doesn't end uh, due to the mercy roll and it goes the whole way, we're going to be here a long time with just because of the amount of penalties that have been called. So holding on Goddard, that'll back us up. And those second down holding plays are killer. Bring up a second and 20. So Goddard backed up to our own eight yard line. Bone split to the right. Fake the give, lead to the right. There's Torres, good run there. Third and 10, Goddard getting their young guys in. You mentioned Deshaun Young playing quarterback. Third and 11 coming up for Goddard. Coach, looks like we're going to get in a spread set with the trips left. Deshaun back to pass. Deep ball to the right. The tight spiral. Castillo. He's gone. What a ball. Deshaun Young. Run, Josiah. They're going to catch him from behind. Oh, he didn't see him. He was jogging. So Belen's going to end up catching him at the, at the two-yard line. Coach Deshaun Young, what a ball. <laughs> Deshaun, that boy, Young. Deshaun Young. Coach, and Coach, that was a tight spiral, 50-yard bomb. On the money. On the money. Oh, no way is that offensive pass interference. No way. Oh, no. Coach, that's just two guys going up trying to make a play, and there, there's no way that's an offensive pass in the field. Well, it wasn't at the catch. You know, we didn't see what happened before the ball got there, so that's the only way I could see it happening is if somewhere in the route before the ball got there, he he pushed off, but it wasn't on the catch as the ball got there. I mean, he had good two, three yards of separation. His eyes were up just tracking the ball. Two-hand catch on the ball. I mean wasn't there man what a tough break oh we're gonna have a flag now coach uh looks like a late flag gonna be on the goddard sideline he's pointing at him i don't know what was said we got gonna take this back half the distance now coach Boy, and I, man coach i just i feel bad for a deshaun young coach, because that was, that was dot what a ball oh my goodness that was just a long handoff right there by Deshaun Young a, a tight tight spiral on the money and coach I think we were missing a play we didn't have a running back in on that last play we had 10 men on the field and threw 81 yard pass when it should have been a touchdown but offensive pass interference is called and another long discussion So that was, Coach, that was a crazy sequence. You had Deshaun Young through the ball of his life. It's Castillo, 50-yard bomb in the air, tight spiral in stride, and then Castillo houses him and started jogging, thinking he was free and clear. Blend tracks him down from the backside, tackles him at the five, and then all for not... <laughs> Offensive P.I. got it on their own three-yard line instead of Belen's three-yard line. Screen. The train is rolling through now, Coach. So a third down screen, that's going to bring up a, a fourth down. So Goddard will have to punt here. 40, up 44-7. 430 and running, third quarter. Number two, Xavier Perez on the reception. Brings up fourth down. Northcutt will be back to punt. 
Rodriguez back to return for Balloon. And Coach, he's dangerous. We want to make sure and cover this. Darren Rodriguez has a lot of speed, high snap, north cut controls. Rodriguez is going to have a little bit of space. Nope, he's going to let it bounce. Goddard will touch the ball and, and get, a, get a pin there. So Belen will take over. And then we get another flag called, Coach. Another flag over there. And Belen and Goddard were both blocking each other hard after the play. I don't know which way it's going to go. Looked like both kids were just playing hard there. But you never know what's said down there, too, Coach. There could be words exchanged and that sort of thing. Yeah, Coach, and then, you know, Blinn hasn't won a game yet. They're not playing good football right now. And so you got to watch out because that's the, that's the kind of thing that they want to happen. They want to get Goddard to retaliate. Goddard just got to be disciplined, yeah. play smart football, not put themselves in any bad situations. So Blinn will be on Goddard's 21-yard line. Goddard up 44-7. Running clock situation, 250 and running third quarter. Two by two look. Little slot fade. Rodriguez, and that's offensive PI. Gotta be. That should be offensive PI going back the other way. Roy Ball had good coverage, and Rodriguez just grabbed him by the jersey, yanked him down right as the ball arrived. So this should back up Belen, offensive PI. We need someone to look up the record for penalties in a football game. We're definitely nearing it, Coach, and they did call offensive pass interference. All right, first and 23, two by two, gun to the left, Garcia in the shotgun, straight back to pass, back's going to sneak out to the right, screen to the right, here comes Bills, going to run him out of bounds, good job by Sebastian Bills, number 20. Nice to see Bills coming and making a tackle, Coach. Like we mentioned, coming back from injury and making some big plays tonight. So, Goddard getting healthy at the right time, Coach, going into district. One minute and counting, third quarter, Goddard up 44-7. Belen, second and 20. Two by two look, gun to the right, Garcia. Tries to go hard count, go on to play, uh, straight drop back, deep ball, balls up in the air, jump ball. Torres with the nice pass breakup. Looking for Rodriguez again. Good coverage out there by Torres. The PBU coach. And another flag. Man. And the clock's running this whole time, running clock situation. So I imagine the whole quarter is going to run out while they figure this out. Because and it's on Boleyn. Might see Goddard decline this and bring up a third and 20. And Goddard will... It's going to be the end of the third. We're going to take a third quarter timeout as well. We'll be back. Goddard up 44-7. to seven. Roll blue. Roll blue. <laughs> The need to grow past our basic capabilities and experience the impossible will forever keep aviation technology evolving. Within the Aviation Maintenance Technology Program at ENMU Roswell, students thrive knowing that the faculty and community are supporting their success. ENMU Roswell is dedicated to empowering students through hands-on skills training in a nurturing environment. To learn more, contact us today.
full-service oil change that includes a full wash and vacuum at their car wash. You won't find a better deal. They also offer full synthetic oil changes, fuel and cabin filter replacements, and will even check your battery. Their tunnel wash isn't afraid of dirty vehicles. They have the best value wash in town with free vacuums. They even offer wash passes that can be used for multiple vehicles. Next time you need your oil changed, go to the fast and efficient Wakefield Oil Express and let them earn your business. 3204 North Main, Roswell. a tooth or several teeth, a dental implant may be the ultimate solution. Implants look and feel so much like real teeth that you probably forget you have an implant. Maupin and Brown Dentistry is one of New Mexico's most experienced implant providers with literally thousands of implant patients who are absolutely delighted with the results. Call Maupin and Brown today for an evaluation. You'll be surprised how affordable implants can be. Maupin and Brown, your choice for experienced, state-of-the-art dentistry. Not seeing any running room and Goddard able to push him out of bounds. So it's going to be third and Carlsbad again for Berlin coach. Third and 32 from the Goddard 44 yard line. The running clock situation. Goddard up 44 7. Artesia 150 0 over Santa T. Roswell at 44 over PB. Goddard up 44 7 over Berlin. Garcia slant underneath. Deflection. Bills. Oh, Bills coach. With the big pass breakup and the hit. Sebastian Bills roll blue. Whoa. Coach Sebastian Bills bringing some physicality, reminding us of his brother, Dallas Bills. Man. That's how you break up a slant, Coach Roy Ball. That makes me not want to run a slant again, Coach. What? Wow. Sebastian Bills with a big time pass breakup, letting the blend defender feel it. Fake from Blinn. Garcia and Goddard with the big sack. That's Flavio Garcia. On the fake punt with the sack, Nate Reed as well. Or 61 for Goddard. Is that Jake Chavez, I believe, Jake coach? Chavez, coach. So, good job. So, Belen tries the fake there on fourth and 30. It's a good idea. Just try to catch Goddard napping, but... Goddard special teams again, balling out. So, Goddard up 44-7. Going to get some more Deshaun Young at quarterback, Coach. Hopefully we get another bomb, a Deshaun bomb. <laughs> Deshaun bomb. All right, double wing, Deshaun Young under center. We're going to get motion here, right to left. Fly sweep, Nate Reed. He's got the edge, hit the Jets. Can he get one more block? First down, Goddard. It's going to be out of bounds, but the clock will continue to run, rolling clock. Maddox Chavez. Mad Joe, football guy, big block out there, shot put guy. Blaze Dean as well. Luis Ortiz, Aiden Martin playing center. Right guard, Daniel Moreno. Alberto Chavez split out right at receiver coach. Nathan Reed playing a wing. Tristan Torres playing a wing. Xavier Perez at fullback and Follow. Followed by Deshaun Young, coach. Break a tackle. He's gone. Deshaun Young to the house. Go, Deshaun, go. GR, have it your way. Roll blue. And, coach, good job by Deshaun. His touchdown pass earlier called back by penalty. But he gets it back on the follow and the house call. Coach, showing some good speed, running through tackles. 34 yards later, the senior Deshaun Young, he gets a house call. Roll blue. Good job, Deshaun. Great blocking again. Extra syrup on those pancakes, coach. Make it 50 to 7, PAT pending. PAT's good. Snap kick. Northcutt is good. 
<laughs> Chung Young is excited still, Coach, and that would be two. What a run right there. <laughs> go, Deshaun, go. Track guy as well, Coach, showing off some of that speed out there on that follow. And again, Coach, Goddard's O-line doing the dirty work down there. They've been doing it all year, and they're doing a whole lot of it tonight. Northcutt with the kick, line drive, Blinn on the return. Cano. George Garcia with the tackle, Coach Moises Jimenez also in on it. And then number 31, Alon Reese, saw it. Ruiz also in on that, Coach. 51-7. And the, the they're trying to get him to run the clock, Coach. They finally listen. <laughs> roll blue, roll clock, 832 and counting. Roll on highway, Coach. <laughs> Nothing but a good time up here with Coach Roy Ball. I'm Coach Deck, KSVPTV.com. Roy producing 1061 Fiero for all you truckers out there. There's Boleyn with the lead play. Off the left side. Coach, we've seen it all tonight. And the thing we've seen the most, Coach, are penalties. We've yeah. seen a ton and ton of penalties. Thank goodness for this running clock and making the second half go by fast. And Coach number 35, it looked like Ricky Winchester rolling a defensive Let's end go, for Ricky. Goddard. Yeah, if there was a fantasy football roster spot for penalties, you'd win. <laughs> Without With a doubt, this Coach. There goes Winchester, the pressure. Oh, and he gets the quarterback hit. And, Coach, that quarterback does have a gun. He really does. Ricky Winchester with the hurry and the quarterback <laughs> he hit. He knows one speed, and that's to go. Go, run. Ricky, go. Run, Ricky, run. <laughs> Jake Chavez checking on. Coming in for senior stud Luis Ortiz makes him plays all night on the offensive defensive line. Seen a lot of these young kids getting to play. Goddard up big. And coach Ricky was a missile on that last play. I think you're going to see it again here. Here he comes. There he goes coach. Oh. oh. oh and he Balls up. Interception. Go Burrow. Go. Alberto Chavez, how about the vertical going way up and snagging that one for the interception? So Belin facing a tough position there, just kind of had to throw it into, into coverage to try to make a play. Ricky Winchester forces the quarterback to throw it a little quicker than he wanted to. Goddard comes up with the interception. Injury timeout. Hopefully he's okay from Belin. Well, it looks like So he's up from Blinn. Looks like he's okay. Hopefully he is, Coach. But 
Alberto Chavez, another great, great <coughs> interception. And coach, he's had a few of these this year, really played a great job, free safety all year. Yeah, I got a couple of them taken back to the house. So Alberto Chavez, great defensive playmaker, ball hawk back there, and who has the ability to take it back to the house on any given interception. Deshaun will stay in a quarterback double wing, single fullback. Motion right to left. The follow again. It's a double lead follow. Good job by Deshaun Young. Good blocking there from Nate Reed and Xavier Chavez. Good eight yard run right there by Deshaun. Going to bring up a second and two for Goddard. Yeah, you know, we mentioned it. Coach Goddard will go into their bye week after this, and it's something to consider. You know, you want your young guys to play, but you want, you know, with a whole week off, you want your starters to get a lot of reps as well, too, going into the bye week, if possible. There's Torres, one cut, breaks another tackle. First down, Goddard, Tristan Torres, number eight. Showing the quick feet out there. Good vision, good cut. First down, Goddard. Clock is a rolling. 5.35 now. Young, under center. Motion right to left, the follow again. Young gonna pick up about five. Got her finding a lot of good work on that follow play, coach. Yeah, coach is John Young displaying some good vision, really good footwork, running hard through tackles. I still wish they would have they wouldn't have killed that offensive oh, pass interference man. earlier on that absolute dime that Deshaun threw. We're not official stat keepers, so we're gonna give it to him anyway. Yeah, we're gonna give it to him. <laughs> There's Reed running wide, stiff arm. And a flag. It's a on no, the play. No surprise to anyone by now. Coach, I think that's the second time we've seen that call tonight on Goddard, and I just didn't see it on either of them. Goddard just trying to regular stiff arm and getting called for an offensive face mask. Almost under three minutes and 30 seconds left. So this game, the second half actually did go by quick thanks to that running clock. We got going to have a second and about six coming up. Deshaun Young under center. Tristan Torres goes in motion. Deshaun with the follow play. Going to pick up the first down. Got an eight-yard run right there by Deshaun picking up the first down. And a big shout out here, Coach. Obviously, we we always eat well in the press box. So we got we got Peter Piper, Burrito Express, Domino's, Golden Corral, and Pizza Hut just hooking everybody up in here. So shout out to those guys. I might hit up one of those after the game as well, Coach. Always hungry leaving the leaving the football game. Yeah, you're right about that, Coach. So that's Peter Piper, Burrito Express, Domino's, Golden Corral, Pizza Hut. Let's go. Young under center. Pullback give. Nope. Follow. I think it was more of an option keep there. Deshaun Young. Running great quarterback out there, coach. Really good to see. And, of course, he's played a really good defensive end all year. 
track guy, hurdle guy. His older brother, Michael Young, love Michael Young as well. Track guy, cross country guy. They're in the stands having a good time watching little Deshaun Young play. Little brother under center. Fly sweet now. Reed, oh, he's got space. Hit the Jets. Getting wide. Protect the ball. Fight forward. Going to be short of the first down, but we are down to 138 and running. There's just a couple plays left in this ball game, Coach. And that's going to be first down, so... Just a formality here. There's Xavier Perez. He's got space. One cut. And that's going to be the ball game. Xavier Perez, the house call on give. Throw those hands up. Turn the scoreboard off. Roll blue. Goddard's going to win the football game 57-7. to seven. Xavier Perez showing some great footwork right there, Coach. Great speed, great power to end the night. Coach. And I love the vision. A couple cuts there, and he saw that outside cut. Race to the pylon. We'll be back for some post-game stats. Goddard with the big win, 57-7 over Berlin. We'll be back for our quick post-game show with some stats. Roll Blue. Your locally owned and operated Big O Tires has the best deals on tires, brakes, oil changes, and more. Now through October 1st, get $50 to $100 in instant savings on four select in-stock Nexon or National Tires. And don't forget Big O has convenient financing options available. These savings won't last. Make an appointment online or head into Big O Tires today. Big O Tires, the team you trust. There's the ramp. So Goddard wins the ball game in a 50-point mercy rule, 57-7. Xavier Perez with the house call with one minute to go to get to 50. So Goddard, big, big win tonight over, over Belen, and Belen's always a, always a tough opponent. Belen, a very storied program. They're a little bit down this year, Coach. They, you know, they got a young, a young team they've gone through. A lot of different coaching staffs, and so it'll it'll take them a little bit to to a get get going. But we know once they do, I mean they're they're one of the best programs in the in the state. And Blinn, you know they'll get into their district and they'll get their ship going in the right direction. But tonight, Coach, all about Goddard, the 50 point Mercy Rule win, 57 to seven whole lot of stats tonight coach yeah coach goddard just thoroughly dominating this game they had 255 rushing yards and five touchdowns john silva with five rushes for 39 yards xavier perez with four rushes for 56 yards and a touchdown dominic ramirez with 25 yards rushing and a touchdown Nathan Reed with 39 yards rushing. Tristan Torres with 37 yards rushing. Deshaun Young with 59 yards rushing. And a touchdown all in the second half. Dominic Ramirez, 4 of 6 passing for 56 yards and a touchdown. Deshaun Young, 1 of 1 passing for 7 yards. So Goddard, 5 of 7 as a team passing, 63 yards and a touchdown. So Goddard just really, really just... It, imposing their will on the Blend Eagles all night long, Coach. An all-out defensive effort as well. We were in the backfield all night, just big hits, forcing a lot of turnovers. Gary Royball with the with the pick six earlier. So, Coach, big win, 57-7 over Blend. Goddard will now go into their bye week, headed into district. And our first game uh, will be at Mayfield, and that's going to be on a, a Thursday night. So one interesting thing for our district is Roswell and Artesia also have a bye. So Roswell, Goddard, and Artesia all with a bye next week headed into district. So I'm actually not sure about Mayfield. Don't have that right in front of me to see who Mayfield has next week, but uh, or if they have a bye as well. But Roswell and Artesia, they'll get they'll play in their district opener coming out of the bye, and we will play at Mayfield. So, Coach, regular season, so to speak, is over, and the real season 
the district season is about to get going. Yeah, Coach, the, the second season, the the one that's going to really, really dictate playoff seedings and uh, standings is coming up. And I like the way we have it set up where we have a week off until we start our grueling district uh, play. But, you know, I like the way Goddard's been playing lately, dominating the last two weeks against some quality opponents. And, you know, they're ranked number three for a reason in both the Max and the coaches prep. So Goddard Rock is rolling at the right time. So celebrate, boys. Great win tonight. Homecoming week. Night, the class of 1983 is in the house as well, Coach. 40-year reunion, and Goddard Rocket Football showed out for them and everyone here tonight. Students showed out, homecoming court. Everybody had a good time. We had a good time as well up in the booth. Coach Roy Ball, I'm Coach Deck. Roy producing. We will see you in a couple weeks for football at Mayfield. Goddard wins big, 57-7. Roll blue. Roll blue. Hey, neighbors, there's a new source for all your appliance needs in the area. We're Roswell Appliance Outlet. We sell new minor scratch and dent appliances and we'll help you save 40 to 60% off of MSRP. All come with warranty and personalized service. We also offer parts and service for your existing household appliances. We offer financing and delivery options as well. Don't make that big box store mistake. Come see us at Roswell Appliance Outlet today at 600 South Main in Roswell or call 575-363-9236. Roswell Appliance Outlet, a proud supporter of Roswell. Oasis Computers has been Roswell's trusted source for home and small business computers for over 30 years. And they continue to be your best resource for computer repairs, operating system upgrades, web root managed antivirus, special orders, and more. Oasis Computers is now open from 8 to 1, Monday through Friday, to better serve you. Service calls by appointments and after-hour appointments are available, too. Stop by Oasis Computers at 1703 North Garden or call or text 575 6 Two five ninety one forty one for even faster service. The need to grow past our basic capabilities and experience the impossible will forever keep aviation technology evolving. Within the Aviation Maintenance Technology Program at ENMU Roswell, students thrive knowing that the faculty and community are supporting their success. ENMU Roswell is dedicated to empowering students through hands-on skills training in a nurturing environment. To learn more, contact us hey. today. Summer's coming, and you're going to want to hit the road for a little well-deserved vacation time. At Ridgeland Motors, it's never been easier to sell or trade your current car, truck, or SUV for a newer model to hit the road in. Even if you don't purchase from Ridgeland, they want to buy your vehicle for top dollar. But if you do buy from Ridgeland, don't forget, they're the home of the powertrain warranty for life. That's a whole lot of confidence for you. See Ridgeland for details, 2nd and Sycamore, and 1309 Southeast Main. Hey, CVE members, have you scheduled your no-cost home energy audit? If not, it's time to sign up. Call 575-746-3571 to get your name on the list for a free home energy audit. Weather stripping, new door sweeps, minor repairs, and much more. Start saving money and keep that purchased air in your home. Central Valley Electric Cooperative is happy to partner with Green Metal Energy for this valuable audit. Again, 575-746-3571. Wakefield Oil Company is a name you can rely on with full service at the pump the way it used to be. You can expect service in just 15...